tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. This time, the media's portrayals of beauty or beauty standards in general have been so limiting and misrepresentative of what true beauty really is about. It led to mindsets like if you're not described as a quote-unquote skinny legend or someone with an hourglass figure, automatic, you're not considered as like, you know, pretty or like uh, fitting into the beautiful image but you know the pressure for women and men to fit into this certain image to feel beautiful was absolutely toxic but you know the good thing about uh that we have now is slowly we've been able to open up and embrace beauty in all sizes in all colors and all phases and natural features and we have to mostly thank individuals who are brave and confident enough to speak up and flaunt their bodies proudly the way they are that's why for today, I've invited three beautiful curved models and body positive advocates to inspire us with their stories and advice on the roller coaster and imperfect journey that is self love. Maybe we can get to know you three a little bit more about yourself and like your work, not like you're all very um, established public figures. So I want to know about your work. So we can talk about it first. You can start again with Dina. Well, basically, I'm a content creator. I try not to say BT content creator anymore because I do more things now. Like, like I said, I do body positivity, self-love, more importantly. Um, I also review food and I do comedy with my sister. I just started watching. So, parang more like that. And also, not just YouTube anymore. I do other apps as well, not as limited. And I also do model and act. But I wouldn't say... I'm full time, not at all. I'm part time <laughs> acting and modeling. Not like them. I feel like they model more than I do. I used to do makeup as well, but you know, more on the internet. Ako ngayon. Internet. So more content, content creating. Yeah. A little bit of a background. Um, yeah, I do body positivity. I do lots of talks as well. Um, plus size model. But mainly, right now, my main focus is being a, a wife, an entrepreneur, and a mom. Um, I basically do me on a day to day basis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, do whatever it is that my heart pleases and uh, just share my blessings because I know we are all blessed to bless others. Some may recognize me from, you know, some of the work that Pat and I have done, even Tina and I have done. I'm also from the Amazing Race Asia. Yes. And one of the reasons why my husband and I joined that is for me to bear a child um, and also for me to represent, um, you know, breaking the stigma that big women people are lazy or can't run or can't do things. And I also want to inspire them to not listen to the negativity and just do what your heart pleases. And if, if travel is something that you want to do, go for it. Um, so I I model, I also model plus size um, Manila and LA and also in New York. I've done Paris and also Australia. Um, and the reason why I decided to venture out into international modeling was because I wanted to put Filipinos on the map that mm -hmm. there's this stigma, there's this stigma that, and it's not a bad stigma, but I'm just saying that there's this stigma that, okay, when you're Asian, you're small. You're an Asian woman, and then you're like, oh, you know, she's she's huge, she's big, you know, she's unhealthy, with this and that and this and that. So um, I would call this, and that's why that's what pushed me really to to pursue international modeling, and that's the reason why I moved to LA. And now I'm in San Francisco um, to really pursue that. Coronavirus hasn't done anything for that right now so um but i do have a but i do work in a tech company as well so that's like my day job um aside from that i also do speaking engagements i also do counseling once in a while um one-on-one -on -one usually if someone needs help needs you know has questions has anything so usually um the people that i talk to message me on instagram or email me or whatnot and then i just you know try to reach out to them as well and just you know give them advice i want to believe that i also am an advocate of not just body positivity but also a healthy lifestyle yes. of health, health and fitness um i like working out um i enjoy working out and i want to take that stigma out that you know plus size models don't work out because a lot of people think that plus size models just eat and you know they get paid yeah. for it. no <laughs> it's actually hard to keep the curves it's hard to keep the curves in the right 
right? <laughs> You're all such empowering women who have broken down traditional beauty standards. So with that, since we're in a show called Beauty in a Box, I'm so curious to know also what exactly beauty means to you. So for me, okay. beauty is within, to be yeah. honest. It's always within. It, it's never on the outside because loving yourself inside will just reflect. It will just outflow. Loving yourself yeah. more, you know, having so much more kindness, you know, all those positive things, it will just outpour and you'll be able to just share it with everybody else. Mm -hmm. You can't fake it. It's something that you can say, oh, I love myself and this and that, but Good. deep inside, you're, you're your number one critic. You yeah. can't be that. You cannot be that. And for me, beauty is really within. That's a strong answer. It's really what beauty yeah. is. <laughs> Roll the tie, Keza. <laughs> For me, I would never describe a person that I don't know as beautiful. Okay. I will say she's pretty, she has nice eyes, you know, she's gorgeous, she's, you know, I'll, I'll use every single other um, adjective out there. But beauty, beautiful is reserved for someone I know. And not because I know her, it's because I know who she is, I know what kind of person she is. I will never say pretty is a face. Yeah. Right. Beauty is the heart. Mm. So different from, it's so different from describing someone like, okay, she's pretty, you know, she has, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. But to say someone's beautiful is to actually know mm. them, see their heart, and know that they are beautiful from within. Yeah. yeah. I think also because the word beauty, just like the title of your, your show, yeah. that has already been put in a box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They think that beauty is just this, 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 this one box. look. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So beauty is so much more. And not just women, even men can be beautiful. Yeah, so there are yeah. 9 million people in this world. There are 9 million beautiful individuals in this world. Oh, and there are 9 million definitions of beauty. There's no single definition of beauty. Thank you for giving such like fresh and inclusive insights on what beauty really is. It's great to see also what you guys have been doing and you know, thriving in your different fields and while being able to incorporate the body positivity advocacy into it. Now, let's delve into the details of your self-love journey. What made you begin advocating strongly for body positivity and what has your journey been like as an advocate? Yeah, can I, I was going to say, can I start because I'm like the baby of the group? Okay, like I can say that I wanted to start because I, like, Glona and Kat has been like one of my athletes in terms of my journey in self-love. Like, they were the first few women talaga that really made an impact. And I even made a video about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I just, yeah. yeah, I made a video about it. Because, uh, like, I feel like the start was when you've had enough. Like the start is when you're like, you know what? I don't believe what you're telling me. That I'm not beautiful if I'm like this or if I'm lesser than what I really am. Like sometimes you just have you have to be, parang you have to get tired of it, I guess. Parang when you know in your heart that you don't believe what you're saying, you're gonna have to make a like you have to stand your ground at some point. And I guess that's what I wanted to do. And even if I didn't grow up in anywhere, we were okay about the size that I was in. Because I'm thinking that I was one, but like, the, the, the amount of like comments I got was way more than... <laughs> you just have to find your crowd, and you have to find who you listen to. And you have to, because confidence is contagious. It's very contagious. Like when you start hanging out and surrounding yourself by people, who know where to get to work from. Like for us, it's like, for me, it's Christian women who are out there and are not only speaking about the Word of God, but also like really making people realize their worth. So that was for me. No, that's so cute, no? Parang, I like what you said, now. You just choose like who to your crowd, yeah? And it's nice now how you found Kat and Ron as like your mentors mm -hmm. in the journey. To, the, to being an advocate, to um, body positivity advocate. How about you, Rana? Like, honestly, with me, I've never really had any body insecurity. Okay. It was more, it, it sort of triggered when I was in elementary, and I think Kat has listened to one of my talks before, and one of the triggers was I wanted to be the muse of the class, but people kept voting me for sergeant of arms. Like, what the heck? <laughs> I want to be the muse. I'm freaking beautiful. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Um, but then I realized, and then I went to my dad, and my dad said, "You know, 
you have so much more to offer than a pretty face. You have so much talent. You're, you're a great speaker. You know, you're smart. Come on. You, you can't mm-hmm. just label yourself just that. Or you can't just put yourself mm-hmm. in one category. So, yeah, you know, late years down the road, I became a student council president. <laughs> <laughs> I never really... I mean, getting the attraction of the opposite sex was never really hard for me. I'm not trying to be cocky, but I guess it's because of more of the personality that they focus in. I mean, I'm not saying that all of the relationships that I've been have been, oh my God, beautiful. I mean, not everybody proposes, but at the same time, some have cheated. But never once did I ever question myself, what is wrong with me? The question is, what's wrong with you? Don't you know this? So for me, now being an advocate started when I moved here to the Philippines when I I was just doing my thing and just sharing my day-to-day activity or how I see myself and people, I didn't know that it's just going to start inspiring them. And and their messages on a day-to-day basis just encouraged me to keep on sharing and sharing. Everything that I share, the words, everything are raw. It's all my emotions. It's all what I really have to say. I hopefully, you know, inspire more and more women or people to feel good about themselves and really focus on what truly matters instead of just yeah. love. How about you, Kat? I don't want to say that I was super bullied. There have been comments about my body and stuff like that, but it was never like to the point where I'd cry because I was bullied. Because the people who would comment about my my weight were people who were also big. Mm. So that's the, that was the funny part. So it, it didn't really strike me as, you know, I was being bullied. But, you know, in, in the latter parts of life, you realize that it has an effect on your, on your mental state and how you look mm. at yourself. Yeah. Beauty has nothing to do with your heart and your personality. And at the end of the day, beauty fades. Yeah. You know, what matters is you want someone who has who has a good heart. And you know, so go- going into that, it just it just pushed me to you know to be better, to strive more. And like what Rona said, when I focused on myself and I did what I wanted to do, got healthy, pursued my dreams. People resonated to that, and people latched onto that. I think people are so sick and tired of being told they're not pretty. Yeah, you know, they're sick and tired of saying, "Okay, how come I don't see myself on the billboard? How come I don't see myself on a TV? How come I'm not part of the the, the word beautiful in media's eyes?" Yeah. You know, so when people start opening up, and you know, I I personally got pushed when um when Ashley Graham was became when well, Tess Holiday first of all was the first um, plus size model to be featured in a in a cover magazine and then Ashley Graham won uh, Sports Illustrated or featured in a Sports Illustrated um, magazine and that's what pushed me to say hey this is the time this is our mm-hmm. time it's the time of women yeah. to know that they are beautiful regardless of their size mm-hmm. you know and it also helped a lot that I knew how God saw me my faith really pushed me more than anything else because i knew how god saw me i knew how much god loved me and i said lord i want everyone to feel what i feel how you, how you see me how i feel loved by you how the reason why i cannot put my worth into other people is because my worth is in your eyes and for you i am beautiful i am worthy you know you love me for who i am sin and all what more weight Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, that was a big factor for me. Um, and you know, when I got interviewed after Melbourne, um, everyone asked, "What, what do you wish you could take home?" I said, "I, I wish I could bottle up the feeling in the room where women don't compete against each other." It was the first time I entered a room where women don't compete against each other, where they're total strangers. But no one belittled me. No one looked at me a different way. No one. You know, everyone was like, hey, come here. Okay, this is what we're going to do. This is what, you know. So it's like, I wish I could bottle that and make everyone drink it so that everyone starts supporting each other and not tearing each other down. That's maybe what pushed me with, you know, with my faith and that feeling I got from Melbourne. I was like, Lord, this is so intoxicating. I want everyone to feel this way. And that's when I started being more vocal, being, you know, bold and just like going for my dreams and trying to achieve what I can achieve. Oh my god, I am so inspired by your words.
Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.